Hey what's up everybody, it is Saints fans. Today I have episode 11 of Seed Spotlight for you guys and this seed is actually sent in by a subscriber. His name's like the Slogs or something like that. Um, but as you see, it's a pretty cool world. The whole top area is a bunch of mountains which are really really cool. Um, there's some snow in the middle and some sand at the bottom. To the left there's some forest area so pretty cool all around. Um, this world has everything. I'll get more into that in a minute but uh, shout out to these people. Uh, some subscribers and some friends who uh, help me find some of the stuff so y'all can go spam them with uh, all the messages I'm sure they don't mind but um uh, like I was saying this seed was sent them by a sub and it's got everything except a mushroom biome I am gonna say that but you'll understand why I put this up at the end of the video because I'm telling you guys the mountains are ridiculous but the first thing we're gonna do is go into the nether and I'm gonna show you guys what is in the nether now the nether is actually it's actually pretty cool like it's it's wide open like this um a lot of lava a lot of light um right over here pretty close to uh if you spawn in where i did it's pretty close to uh to there little nether spawn or, or nether fortress can't talk here and there's actually a blaze spawn right here there's the coordinates for it and what's kind of interesting is i i mean at least what i found there's nothing in this uh fortress that's actually like in case like most of it well i mean except like right there but most of it is uh, out in the open, which is definitely really cool, although it's very dangerous. Um, here's some nether wart locations, so definitely you can use all the potions and all that stuff. So it's definitely a neat nether to, to go exploring in, because like I said, it's a lot open. Um, like, with, you know, like always, you know, you got to be careful if you're playing on survival, because all them, you know, bunch of creatures that'll wind up killing you. This is actually where the stronghold's at. It's actually in the middle of all the mountains, kind of cool location. But, um, there's your coordinates right there, but, uh, as you see, you might not want to use these because, uh, if you dig straight down, you will fall into lava and you'll probably rage quit. So, uh, definitely might want to dig a couple spots to the left or right. Um, there's actually, which is kind of interesting, and they'll be in the description, all the coordinates for everything. There's actually two libraries in here, and one of them is actually connected to an abandoned mine shaft. Um, like I said, that's in the description below. Uh, as always, the seed's also there. The seed's actually on the screen this time. I'm going to start doing that because I know a lot of people were wondering uh, sometimes what the seeds were or whatever. Um, and that was at the top of the map. Now, if we go to the bottom map, there's actually an abandoned mine shaft. And I put uh, these coordinates in particular because in this chest there's actually a couple melon seeds. And there's also two diamonds. So not too often do you see diamonds in, uh, or at least me, I don't see diamonds too often in abandoned mine shafts. So uh, I thought that was pretty cool, I'll show you guys. And then the next uh, part we're gonna go here is, I'm just gonna show you guys all the mountains. I'm just gonna try to fly around them all and everything. I mean, they're, they're pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Um, I'm just gonna fly over the sand desert, and as always, you know, every map has one of these, right? The uh, abandoned lonely wells. This one actually has some uh, stuff around it, but uh, it actually has a pretty cool river that goes around the sand biome, uh, as you saw on the bottom right of the map there. But we're going to head over to the mountain areas, and uh, like I said before, the stronghold is actually in this area, so if you do plan on using this seed, um, you know, you can definitely build it in that area where the stronghold was, because there was some f sort of flat land, but then there's all kind of mountains around you, and uh, if you want to be connected to an abandoned mine shaft and also a stronghold, definitely a really cool spot. Uh, some pumpkins over here, in case you need pumpkins, maybe you want to get some, uh, some snow golems or anything, not too sure, but basically like I was saying this seed has has everything except the mushroom biome um, but these mountains are, are pretty awesome I'm not even gonna lie these are pretty awesome and as always I'm gonna say this again because I know a lot of people don't hear me when I say it apparently in the description check out all the the um like the my notes and stuff where I put all of the uh, descriptions of, of you know where everything's at all the coordinates and stuff stuff that isn't in the video and also I want to say if you do choose these seeds make a video response you know I don't care if it's recorded on a phone or whatever just make a if you if you pick one of these seeds and you build something on it let me know put it leave it as a video response I'll be sure to accept them and uh, give you you can give some other people some ideas and actually this is kind of a weird formation I've never seen that in the mountain before it's like a it's like built-in stairs I, know, I thought it was a little, little weird. There's actually a lot of waterfalls. That's what I did notice. There's a lot of waterfalls on these mountains, so it's definitely really cool if you like waterfalls. Uh, it definitely adds some, uh, you know, if you build a house around that, it definitely adds some creativity and some, some cool little designs that you can do with the waterfalls. Um, but 
I want to say something real quick while I just explore the rest of these things um, about the subworld because I know a lot of people had questions on that. Um, in the next couple of days, I will be putting up a new, uh, you know, an updated video saying exactly how to get in it. Um, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, there'll probably be a link at the end of this video. You can check it out. You know, if you're just watching this video and haven't seen that one, but I'm making a subworld, and uh, it's it's kind of complicated. So I'm not going to say everything in this video but I'm gonna make a new video so you don't need to keep asking me questions like how do I join when's it open all that stuff when I make the new video it will be open and we'll have to work some things out because obviously there's only eight people in a in a game but uh you know we'll, we can figure it out I'm sure we can um other than that guys nice little overview 360 degree of these mountains I mean these right here is probably the coolest part not only because it's in the middle and there's like water around it but just the the view I mean I mean that's just I don't know I don't know what it is about you know being in Minecraft and just looking at these mountains but it's just it's really really cool I don't know that's just my opinion though um, maybe, maybe you think looking at flatlands cool I don't know but um let me know uh, if y'all like the seed hopefully the update you know comes out pretty soon so I won't have to keep picking seeds uh, that have the uh, the mushroom, uh, the stuff in the nether, because uh, when the update comes out, every every seed will have it. And I could just go back to my normal thing, you know, finding some unique seeds and stuff like that. But um, like I said, big shout outs to the guy who sent these seeds in. Big shout outs to the guys in the game itself for helping me find some of the stuff. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, see, like I said, top right, it's called Shreed. Lowercase. Wanted to mention that. And uh, as always, it's Boy Saints for No Remote. Peace!